Now we'll show you how to navigate to additional features you can configure as an account administrator. Once you've signed in, you'll notice you have some additional options in your top navigation bar. First, you'll see a reports option. This is where you'll locate your My Calls list along with other key reports for your account. Let's look at the call log. Similar to what your users see, you'll see all incoming and outgoing calls to this extension. You also have the option to export the call records. The other features you have as an administrator are located here. By clicking Settings, you have access to this additional navigation menu. On the dashboard, you'll see a daily overview of call traffic, as well as monthly, and your yearly overview for the calendar year. At a high level, you can see how your system is operating by viewing your inbound and outbound calls, incoming and outgoing minutes used, and peak call times. Let's review the other admin functions in this navigation bar. In the left-hand corner, you'll see your company or account name. By clicking it, you can access your billing information directly and general account settings. Clicking Account Settings opens a new set of menu options. By clicking Locations, you can view all locations under your account and edit the details if needed. In this example, there is only one location. Then by clicking Reports and selecting Call Records, you can view and export all the call records on your account. You can also access your billing information from here too. The Settings tab includes account level details set up by Broadvoice, like your account name, caller ID name, and time zone. If you need to adjust these high level settings, you can do that here. The other tabs shown on this screen are for Broadvoice use. To return to the previous admin menu bar, click Settings. The People tab is where you'll find a list of everyone within your organization or location if you have more than one site under your account. You can add new users here and by selecting the three dots next to any user's name you can edit a person's details, configure their call settings and remove them from the portal. Let's continue. This is where you'll see what type of package is assigned to each user. P represents a pro seed, S is a standard seed, and M is a metered seed. Metered seeds are typically used with conference phones and paging systems. Next, let's look at destinations, where you'll find a list of all the ring destinations you can configure in your call flows. Then, in the resources menu, you'll find a list of all the inbound numbers on your account along with links to various resources. The last option you see here is for reports, such as call records and outbound stats. You've finished learning about where the administrator functions are located in the portal.